Hey guys, welcome to Ally Edge. So I've had this uh, this vice here. I've had this for, uh, I don't know, probably seven years now. You know, I've been here in Minnesota for about eight years. So I got this one, uh, I don't remember where I got this one, to be honest. Anyways, either a swap meet or a garage sale or something. I pick them up for like a buck or three bucks. Or if I see like a something missing on them or whatever, They'll say they want like 10 bucks for them. I'll be like, I'll give you two. And they always take it because they just, they don't want to be dragging around a big old chunk of metal. But I'll flip the camera around. I'm going to do a real quick vice. Um, I wouldn't call it a restoration. Just kind of a cleanup or a restoration, I guess you'd say. Whatever you want to call it. But I, I have an old Colombian vice. And I want it for my fabrication table. I need something so when I'm doing fabrication, I can just quickly you know put something on the table. Bolt it on or take it off or you know use something on the table and then when i'm doing like a car frame or something on the table i can pull the vice itself off so i'll flip the camera on real quick and show you so this is my fabrication table this was my uh birthday present from heidi uh like two years ago and uh it about made me sick this morning because i drilled two holes in it you know because i don't want the holes on the table <laughs> I'm talking about other than the uh, fabrication layout holes. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I drilled two 3 8 holes in here, and then this hole here lines up. So I'll have uh, you know the three spots to bolt the vise. And then one of the things is when you put a vise on a table, you want to make sure you can turn it without hitting anything on the table. So usually what I do is I put a two by four in it and I spin it all the way around, like you know nine degrees this way, nine degrees this way, and make sure it's not going to hit the corner of the table. So always remember that. It helps. But anyways, this is my uh, Colombian vice. And like I said, I'm gonna do kind of a quick restoration. It works very well. And I love this right here, made in the USA. That's badass. So I'm gonna wire brush it, clean it up. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it. I'm gonna do this quick down and dirty. And uh, I will grind off, there's a couple of welding cherries right here like that. I'll get those ground off, cleaned up, and then uh, like I said, I'll just wire brush it, prep it, wipe it down, and uh, we'll figure out what color to paint it. We'll see what happens. This thing's actually in really good condition, I'm surprised. Usually older vices are just beat to hell, you know? Right now I'm clamping it to the table so I could uh, take it apart. Man, my camera work sucks. Yeah, all, all the jaws still in good condition. Screws are all in there. All the internal pieces are good. They're not broken, so that's awesome. How those put in there? Hmm. It looks like those just sli that piece just slides in there and like friction fits. So I'm not even gonna mess around with it. I'll just get everything all degreased and uh, 
de-rusted and cleaned up and whatever and go from there. So the next step I did is I just used Rolox disc, and these are the smooth ones, uh, to prep the whole area. And then I used grinder disc, and they're like 36 grit, to knock the welds down. There was some welds and stuff, some spatter, welding cherries on here, so I knocked all those down. Everything's all cleaned up. And the next step, I'm going to spray this down with the uh, Super Clean. And uh, I want to thank Super Clean for being one of our sponsors. It's really cool. If you guys haven't checked out Super Clean, go uh, pick up some of this stuff because, man, it is nice. And it's it's a trip because, like I was saying in one of my earlier videos, is I got to use this when I was younger, you know, um, trying it. And uh, I kind of remembered how it worked and everything. <clears throat> and the stuff is just amazing. And you can actually see the paint, the old paint, crusty crap coming off of there. So this will take care of all the grease. And then what I'll do is I'll wipe it down with water and I'll hit it one more time with some uh, acetone. And then after that, I will hit it with uh, grease and paint remover, or uh, I'm sorry, grease, grease and wax remover for uh, you know any of the grease that's stuck on here, any little crevices. Yeah, you can see all the orange that's coming off. That's the old paint and stuff. This is crusty on there, all the grease and everything. So there's that. That's taken care of. I'll get it all, uh, you know, wiped down with water first and then prep it. After I'm done, you know, after the super clean does its job. And then uh, we'll get it prepped before we paint. want a nice spray bottle like this where more of it comes out on the table than it does where you're spraying. <laughs> so. 
thing needs to be thrown away. And this is prep all what I'm prepping the paint for. Wax and grease remover made by Auto Value or Auto Body Master. Pretty much the same uh, techniques we're doing right here. This is what we do when we uh, get a car ready for paint, you know? So supposedly this is paint and primer in one, like it says. So we'll uh, do without the primer on this which I don't care anyways, but this is that hammer tone look. Going, to, going for something industrial looking for the shop. I don't want red in here just to keep it old and crusty looking, you know? So this is uh, my temporary paint booth set up right here. So I'll go ahead and get everything painted. Well, I got that all put back together. Turned out really nice. It's got like that wrinkle finish to it with the gray kind of industrial looking. This will get many years of use right here. And uh, I think I got this for free up at a estate sale. This was in the scrap metal pile, so there you go. But I wanna thank uh, Super Clean, one of our sponsors. I appreciate you guys watching. Later.